which means you'll be able to do two. two. <laughs> Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. Have you ever wondered how much power your desktop PC actually is using. I do have a PC with a 750 watt power supply. That's a lot. Obviously that power supply doesn't work at full capacity for most of the time. I really doubt it actually reaches that peak uh, power output. So I was wondering how much does it exactly cost me to use my PC throughout the day, especially when it's idling at about 20% of CPU use. So I decided to do this. This is a PC monitoring dashboard and to achieve this I was using Netio power cables. I've been given two Netio power cables. Now power cables work like some of devices, you can either turn on or off uh, appliances. Now because it's a power cable it also has ability to monitor the power use of that appliance, just like some of uh, POWR2. Now, unlike Son of POW2, those are not DIY cables. They're already made and ready for you to be used. Now, the cables come with various protocols. So I have two cables in here and one is for MQTT specifically. The other one is for REST, so you can send the HTTP requests. And in this tutorial, despite me having two cables, I have one with UK plug and one with the computer plug. It's C14 plug, also sometimes called kettle plug, which isn't exactly true. Now. I'm going to focus on that computer cable because I wanted to connect it to my computer and showcase you how I've made that dashboard. So let's get this connected and I'll walk you through it. Restarting my desktop computer is not something I want to do accidentally, so I've added a switch to enable and disable restart button. Now when I restart the button, the Netio power cable will cycle through its power so it will turn it off and on again which is going to give a signal to my BIOS uh, to restore the previous configuration. In a BIOS power settings you will be able to actually access this and decide what would you like to do if the computer loses power. You have to set that to restart the computer. Now when the computer is up and running I have a new option on my dashboard which is putting a computer to sleep. This button is actually um, interactive, so it depends on how much uh, wattage is being passed through the Netio power cable, it changes option. So let's put the computer to sleep, and within a moment, the computer goes to sleep. Now, on the dashboard, there is a couple of other features available. You can see how much power I'm using today and in total, how much does it cost me to use this power, and obviously how long the computer was in use whether it's a total uptime or whether it's just for today. Underneath that, there is a seven day usage. So every day, there's gonna be a graph showing you what was the overall usage of uh, my computer per day. You'll notice that the button changed blue because it's discovered that the computer is in a low power mode. Uh, that means I can send a wake online command. And that's pretty much it for this dashboard. So let's take a look at the Node and see how it works. So this is my Node-RED setup and you can see the dashboard with all the features available. Now obviously I'm not going to change anything because this is actually a computer I'm working on and recording this. So let's jump into the Node-RED. And in Node-RED you'll see that this is a complete setup. Now there's a couple of things that I'm going to lean on and mainly those are my previous articles. So in, I'm going to show you everything from the beginning, but I just want to highlight certain sections. Now in here you'll see the two-factor authentication, something I was uh, talking about in my last video in here. So I would strongly recommend you if you want to protect your computer from accidentally restarting. Uh, I am able to, before I, when I click on the restart button, to issue uh, this notification on your mobile asking me if I really want to do it, and that should remove the um, accidental presses. Now there is a couple of things that I'm going to also use. There is a write-up I did about Tasker, but it works for JavaScript as well, and this is how to translate seconds into days, hours, minutes, and seconds, because we're going to use that time. Uh, there is uh, more about how to cal cal calculate power using some of device instead, but the principle is very the uh, very same. So I'm leaning on this article, and lastly, if you're interested in having uh, dual tariffs, so if you have a night tariff and a day tariff, 
for your power costs. Um, this 3D printer mobile um, notifications for the 3D printer will show you how to achieve this. Let's head back to Nodred and let's start talking about it. So first of all, this is the refresh time and by default I used it um, or set it to 10 seconds. And 10 seconds I found it to be ideal for this. And uh, if you want, you can change it. If you change it in here, uh, the rest of the script will adjust for this. Now, I've mentioned this is a two-form authentication in here. And uh, this is where I refresh stuff every hour. And this is when I refresh stuff every 24 hours. This is my chart. So this is where the chart is uh, coming in handy. And this is my setup for this button, the red button at the uh, bottom, which you can unlock and lock with the switch. Now, obviously the core is here and this is what it does. Uh, it takes the value every 10 seconds I'm connecting to my Netio uh, power cable. I uh, authenticate myself with uh, username and password. And for the convenience, I store all the variables in my local uh, flow variable. So based on the power usage, I use this switch node to check how much power I'm currently using. If I'm using two or less, it means the computer is sleeping. Uh, sorry, the computer is turned off. If I'm using between five and three, the computer is sleeping and, and anything more than five, the computer is operational. And that's what basically sets this button to different colors and different functions. I've talked about um, wake on LAN before, so I have this set up with auto remotes. If you're interested in how to get that done, what happens in short is I'm sending a sleep pattern to my uh, event ghost via auto remote and that way I can put the computer to sleep. I've explained everything in my wake online, this one, um, in my wake online uh, tutorial. So if you want to have more details about how to make it work, it's also there for you. So let's head back to Nodred. So we know what's going to happen in here. So we have this, we have just a notification, we have a wake on LAN and we have going to sleep and then we have a, a command to reset it. Now to reset the Netio device, you have to just pass a, a special payload to this uh, address. And um, this is the payload basically uh, because I'm just power cycling it. Uh, I'm using a command number two because zero is off, one is on and two means off for a short period of time and then uh, on again. So that's what is most suited. So every 10 seconds I also do two things. I update my chart with usage and I calculate all the values. So the chart update, what happens with this is, and there's a couple of ways of generating this data. Now, first of all, if you look at the uh, chart, it supports up to seven days, but in the first day, it will only display today and it will only display uh, the wattage that you used in here. So once this crosses 24 hours, so at midnight on a given day, you'll, it will up actually update your chart and display more days for you. So that's what is the script about. It basically checks how many days I have stored. If I don't have many days, it does this part. If I have more than one day, it does this part. So that's the script there. In terms of calculating everything, I can split this into uh, three sections. Uh, I've mentioned the functions about the time, so how to extract the time from seconds. I'm using those two functions. One returns hours and minutes, one returns days as well, because hours and minutes gonna be okay for my daily counter. But if I want to have a total counter, obviously that's gonna run in days sooner or later. So if you want to know more details about it, that's the write up here. Um, looking down, we have calculate um, how to calculate the wattage. And obviously wattage in total is very easy because this is actually available in and the net here. So if I'm going to go in here, you'll see that I have a total energy and this is value directly given by the net your power cable. But to do it daily and to do it persistently, so I could check the value of this um, at any given time, there's a couple of things I have to do. First of all, I'm just going to check um, what are the values stored before I'm actually uh, going to apply it. So if, if I don't have anything anything in my array by hours, so those are value per hour, how much wattage I'm using, uh, then I'm gonna be using the average per hour. This is the last value I've been using in a, for the last hour, and you achieve this by uh, calculating this with, um, where is it? With this here. So basically this is a total load divided by three, 
3600 and that's times refresh rate so i'm um, dividing it by 3600 because this is how many seconds we have per hour and i'm doing refresh every 10 seconds i'm multiplying this and that's the resolution or an accuracy of my um, function here now the cost itself uh, i have in a global value something i use the credential system a cost of how much it costs me to run this now the total cost is easy because all you have to do is just to multiply that by 1000 or oh, divide that by 1000 to get the kilowatts and then multiply that by cost of kilowatts but if you want to do it on a daily basis uh, you need to figure out where is your daily basis there so for the first hour i'm using that average per hour and if once i have an array with uh, more hours in here i'm just uh, adding all the values from this r array together and then again dividing by uh, 1000 to get kilowatts and then times the cost now lastly time calculating the uptime is also f uh, easy uh, if the computer isn't sleeping, so my uh, load is bigger than 5 watts, uh, then each time 10 seconds, 10 seconds passes, I'm adding 10 seconds to a total number. Now I have two uh, numbers in here, it's time total and day total. Obviously time total doesn't get reset, uh, while uh, time day gets reset every 24 hours and that's what happens. And lastly, I compose a uh, payload uh, which contains all the data I need to display and send it to those different charts in here. So there are those at the core um, in the middle, all those display units there. Now, every hour, and there's a couple of things I'm going to do as well. I'm just going to see if my um, hourly array exists. If it doesn't, I'm going to create a, that array and save it. And then every hour, I'm just going to check how much I've used within that hour and push that into a first position and then clear that uh, value for uh, my current hour. Now every 24 hours there's also a couple of things I'm going to do and those consist of first checking or first downloading both hours and day users and then checking if I have any day use in there I'm going to be, this is here, if I have any use by day values I'm going to assign zero if not, uh, then I'm going to push that value to uh, array in the first position. So you can see in here, I have two, essentially two days right now. There's a day zero, a day two, and day two, or the element one. And those are being pushed every 24 hours. If I don't have anything, then currently I'm just um, running this from um, a sum of these uh, total use by hours. I add them all together and that's my current day. Once the 24 hours passes, I'll upload everything uh, to the array and I'm going to get another position in here. Now, because I'm only displaying the last seven days, um, I'm going to constantly remove from something from a seventh position. So I would only have seven days in here displayed. And the other day is going to be on this side, the, lower, the, the current present time is going to be on this position here. And that's pretty much it in terms of entire setup. I should mention just a quick this. Um, it's enabling and disabling the restart button. You can use that by setting message enabled to true or false. And I have a one second timer. So once you press it, it takes one second to disable the button again. And that's basically what it happens. I think I'm ready to answer the question how much power my PC uses on a day to day basis. Now, when the computer is idling and I'm doing some light tasks on the internet, I'm using about 50 to 60 watts per hour. Now, per day, that should equal to about 20 to 25 pence per day, which isn't that much. Now, if I'm gaming or if I'm rendering a video, that peak usage obviously goes up quite a bit. And I've clocked up to 300 to 350 watts when playing games and about 250 what's when rendering a video. Now that's obviously going to raise your costs significantly. So if you want to get your own dashboard available in your home automation, just follow the steps included in the description of this video. You're going to find full tutorial and files to download. But before you go there, there is an elephant in the room I have to address. Net your power cables are quite good. I like that this is a complete product, that there is no DIY aspect of it. However, they're quite expensive. Right now, Netio is offering them for 99 euros plus VAT, which brings them to about almost 120 euros. That's a lot of money considering that you can achieve the same thing with Sonoff POWR2. 
Now, if you don't mind splicing the cable yourself and you're okay with doing it, then probably you want to go Sonoff route. But if you're interested in a ready product, given it your go, they have a couple of other products available on the website and some of them might interest you. It's clear that Netio is going after the business customers because this is a product that aims at big firms that want to monitor things efficiently and that's why they come up with a really, really good and strong API access. There's no need for flashing, there is no need to do anything, just plug and start using the power cable. So guys, I'm gonna leave you with this question. What would be the ideal price for the Netio power cable? Obviously 99 euros without a VAT, it's a big ask, but uh, at the same time, they offer really, really cool product. As usual, I do not have a posting schedule, so if you're interested in any content I have, uh, best to follow me on social media, I guess, because you're gonna receive an instant notification and you obviously know how YouTube works. As for now, guys, thanks so much for watching and thank you to Netio for providing the cables. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.